Hey guys, how are you today? Oh, one last sewing video today. I've, we're filling a few of these. You're not going to, of course, I'll see them at the same time, but I figured I had to have the machine out actually for this project, so I would film a few sewing things since friends have been asking. <laughs> Alright, so the, for those of you who don't know, my husband is a Freemason, and this is one of the guy's aprons. It's not my husband's, it's somebody else's, and the strap came off. <laughs> Um, it is leather and velvet for the most part, so I need. I do have a large eye denim needle on here. I do have matching blue color thread. First thing I'm going to do is trim all this craziness off. Because that's not going to be helpful. Then I'm going to try to find the hole over here where this came out of. This is an old apron. It's seen better days but I just need to make it work <laughs> and it, the strap is adjustable so if he loses a couple inches on this side um, it doesn't matter because there's enough to play with on the other side I'm going to stuff this in to the pocket that it came out of as far as I can get it to go and I'm going to sew it from the front because I want to make sure it looks nice on the front I don't really care how it looks on the back because I have lots of thickness of fabric here and um, uh, there's threads I'm sorry um, because I have lots of fabric here and it's thick and it's leather um, I have not only the denim needle but I'm using a you know kind of largest stitch length I'm gonna pull all those off generally you would cut those but I'm just giving them a yank and get all these cleaned up here so I want to clean up all the frayed parts as much as I can. I'm going to try to line up the needle with where the old stitches were in the edge of the apron and I'm going to hold my threads. Now when you're sewing thicknesses like this, make sure you have a nice sharp needle. Don't go fast. I'm going to go back and forth a couple times. Again, I am lining up the edge of this front part of the apron with a particular mark on my presser foot. So hopefully my stitches come out nice and even. And I'm going to go back and forth at the end. I'm going to trim all the threads off close. And pull any frayed bits off. And there you go it's all fixed yeah simple quick easy some little projects like that it doesn't have to be mending it could be it could be just you know practicing sewing on anything but if you have a little mending project like that it's really quick really easy to fix it rather than replace it so think about doing something like that playing with your machine and if you just use your machine for mixed media um, that doesn't mean you can't occasionally use it for the home mending project uh, you can um, just be sure that you put a new needle on the machine and that um, it's running properly. Um, if you're using it mostly for paper and the occasional mending project, make sure you're cleaning your machine and oiling it uh, fairly regularly to clean all that paper pulp out of there. All right, That's it for today. Quick, easy mending project. Uh, I hope you have fun playing with your machine, doing some mixed media, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye.